Welcome back to Suarzo History. So in the last episode, we kind of talked a little bit about what the Wars of the Roses are. Um, and in this one, we're going to talk about the first song on the album, which is called Born to Rule. Um, this song is about Henry VI on the eve of the Wars of the Roses. It's essentially from his point of view, or at least it's sympathetic or empathetic towards him. So who was Henry VI? Well, importantly, he was Henry V's son. Henry V was basically a national hero, and still kind of is in England. Um, he was the one who won the Battle of Agincourt very famously. He uh, did a lot for English power in France. Um, so he was a famous guy. People respected him. When he died, uh, his son and only heir, Henry VI, was not even a year old. Naturally, while Henry VI was a child, um, there were others ruling the kingdom, managing the Hundred Years' War against France um, in his stead, and by the time Henry VI became an adult and was capable of ruling for himself, he was the King of England and the King of France although that was disputed by Charles VII, who also wanted to be King of France. Um, and he was in a position militarily where the English were not doing very well in France. By most accounts, Henry VI was a pretty uh, timid guy, and he wasn't really hawkish. He didn't really want to pursue the war in France. He always favored peace as an option, um, and actually his wife and queen, Margaret of Anjou, was French, and uh, that marriage was one of his attempts to kind of uh, bring the conflict to a peaceful conclusion, but um, the situation in France was not going well by the 1450s, um, and he had basically a couple of factions within his own government. He had like a pro-war faction and people that were more or less on his side with not being too zealous about pursuing the war. When we get to the 1450s though, uh, we see a big push by the French and the English end up losing a lot of ground in France. Um, and they're really only left with the Calais garrison. Um, this is a big disaster, and in 1452, uh, there is a big effort by Henry VI's government to organize an invasion. Essentially, the royal government contracts with some retinue leaders, the biggest of which is uh, John Talbot. He's the Earl of Shrewsbury, uh, in a very capable commander, and uh, this invasion force is organized, it's sent over to Aquitaine, and in an attempt to reclaim English ground in France, uh, things don't go so well, and what really puts the nail in the coffin for English France is the Battle of Castillon, and that is basically the whole next video after this one. In my opinion, historians are very unkind to Henry VI. He's uh, looked at as basically a failure and mentally unstable child um, because as will become clear after the Battle of Castillon, he basically has a mental breakdown and that's one of the things that really kicks the Wars of the Roses into gear. But he's He's a king who is the son of Henry V, who, those are big shoes to fill and he can't fill them. Uh, he's inherited the crown of England and the crown of France. He's got a war party within his own government that really thinks he's incompetent and not handling this appropriately. Um, and then as the French start to push the English out of France, he's kind of burdened 
with this responsibility to respond appropriately and try to hold on to as much as he can and take back as much as he can. That's why in the song, um, the matter of his reputation or his father's reputation comes up a couple of times and the fact that he's basically overburdened, he's got a lot of stuff going on, he wasn't even a year old when he got this job, um, and everyone is giving him a hard time for it. So that's the background behind the first song on the album. Um, he's a very interesting character. Uh, there are a lot of opinions about him floating around. If you watch any documentary about the Wars of the Roses, you will see some pretty silly depictions of Henry VI as like a babbling, incompetent buffoon and or like a child who never really understands what's going on. Over the next, like, two videos, uh, we're gonna hear more about Henry VI and his mental health crisis that occurs. Um, the next video we're gonna talk about the Battle of Castillon, and the one after that we're gonna start talking about the opposing view on this matter, which is that of Richard, the Duke of York, and, um, Richard Neville, aka the Kingmaker. As I'm recording this right now, it is Sunday the 26th, which means that the album officially launches in a couple days on the 28th. I'm very excited. Big thank you to anyone who has pre-ordered it or bought a CD so far. I'm very appreciative of that. Also, I have been adding some merch items to the merch store on Swarzo.com. Some of it is pretty fun, I recommend you check it out. I like a lot of the designs and am waiting to order some more for myself. I really hope you enjoy the album, uh, and I really hope you enjoy following along this series as we talk about some of the stuff behind it. <laughs> 